All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you another video. So thank you all so much for joining me here today. I hope you guys are all doing well. What I wanted to share with you all here in this video is how to choose the best Cardano stake pool. So lots of anticipation for Shelly being released on the mainnet. I did a video a while back talking about how to choose the best stake pool. Now I wanted to provide some updated information with the amount of newcomers to the Cardano community. Welcome to everyone who is anticipating Shelly. I know I'm very excited. So here in this video, we're gonna be talking about some of the things I like to look for when it comes to choosing the best stake pool. Before we do get started, just wanted to say if you did find some value from this video, please be sure to drop a like for me. If you all are new to the channel and if you enjoy content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you can get notified when I post a new video. If you do have any questions or concerns about anything that we're talking about here today, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. So before we get started, let's go ahead and take a look at a quick preview for Kaizen Stake Pool. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just a little preview of what's to come with Kaizen Crypto. Now the first website that I wanted to share with you all as we're talking about how to look at choosing the best Cardano stake pool is going to be adapools.org. Now with this, please don't misunderstand, I'm not telling you in this video what is the best Cardano stake pool, but rather I want to give you the information needed and share with you all some of my thoughts on what metrics I like to look for to choose the best stake pool for me. So you need to make sure that you're doing your own research. This video is not intended to show you how you can do that for yourself. Now let's go ahead and take a look here. What we're looking at, we can see the name of the stake pools. We can also look at the pool size, the block per epoch, the live stake, the tax. So there's lots of information here and I wanted to just briefly give you an overview as to what all this means. So now here we are at the dashboard. We can see that the names are listed here on the left hand side. These are all the various stake pools that you can choose from. And then next to that, we can see the pool size. Now the pool size is gonna be a percentage based on the total amount of ADA within the network that's currently being staked. So this is a percentage. And what I wanted to show you here with this website, when you click up at the top, each of these metrics can be sorted based on the least or the greatest. So when you click on it one time, that'll show you the least and click on it again, it'll show you the greatest. Now these metrics are all color coded. So what we're looking at here, the pool size is in red. What this means is that these stake pools are at a point where they're in danger of being saturated. When a pool becomes saturated, essentially the rewards for the delegators who are delegating to that stake pool will be diminished. And essentially it's an incentive mechanism set by the protocol to help encourage decentralization. So that's something to consider whenever you are looking for a stake pool. I like to look for anything less than 1%. 1% is typically saturated. As we can see here, if we scroll down a little bit, the color starts to fade. You know, we're looking at about 0.82%. Still got a decent amount of stake that's delegated, but you are going to be clear from an oversaturated pool um, as you go down the list here. Now, in conjunction with the pool size, we can see also the blocks per epoch. So with these larger stake pools, they are gonna be bigger within the network. They have a larger stake that's delegated the number of blocks that they are going to mint 
is going to be larger than that of a stake pool that has less delegated ADA. So if we scroll down here, we can see that you know a lot of these stake pools are minting anywhere from 30 to 40 blocks per epoch. Now, still a fair amount of blocks being minted per epoch with the lower pool size. So I like to look for that. It's definitely encouraging to see that. We can see even if you're not a massive stake pool, you're still going to be able to mint blocks every epoch. Now, with every minted block, essentially what that is, it's a way for the network to say, hey, thank you for being online. Here is a reward. So the stakers rewards is going to be the amount in ADA that has been awarded to the delegators of that stake pool. Next, we can see live stake. I like to use live stake and pool size hand in hand. I think they're more or less the same. It's just how you intend on looking at it. The pool size is based on a percentage of the entire amount of ADA within the network. And the live stake is just the total number of ADA. Now, if we go over here, tax, so you've got the tax percent and you've got the tax as a fixed fee. So you've got two different metrics to look at here. Keep in mind also the metrics that we're currently looking at are for the incentivized testnet. So with Shelly launching on the mainnet, these metrics could definitely change as well as the return on ADA. I think all of this is very subjective as of right now, but this is just to show you the website and how you can look at some of these different metrics. With the tax in terms of percentage, I like to look for the lowest tax possible. And in conjunction with the ROA, you want to look for the highest ROA with the lowest tax. So that's what I like to look for. Basically, if you can find that with a stake pool that's not very saturated, that's less than 1% of the total supply of ADA that's delegated, uh, you're going to be doing OK. Most of those stake pools are going to provide some pretty decent returns. So what we see here with the return on ADA, this shows us a percentage of the average return on investment for the stake pool. So that's gonna be some of the metrics that we're looking at here with adapools.org. Definitely recommend you guys check out this website. There is a lot of information to consider. If you click on any of these stake pools here, it's gonna give you more in-depth information as to some of the different metrics for each stake pool. Next website I wanted to show you, this is going to be adastat.net. So I've got the metrics pulled up here for Kaizen Crypto Stake Pool, just for the sake of demonstration purposes in this video. Essentially, you can actually search for any stake pool. You can search for an address or a transaction. You can search for all of that here on this website. But when you find the stake pool that you're intending on delegating to, you can see the website here if they have one. You can see other metrics that are related to the stake pool, including the percentage fee. You can also see the information regarding the owner address and pledge address. So this is all public information. This is available for everyone to look at. And then if we scroll down, we can also see some other metrics regarding the current stake and the current return on stake. So this is good to see if you just want to find a number that you can anticipate earning if you decide to delegate to the stake pool. In this instance, Kaizen is up above 10% return on stake. So really nice to see that. Thank you to everyone who's helped support the stake pool by delegating. I really do appreciate it. It's been incredible to see this grow. But what we're looking at here, if we scroll down as well, we can see the different metrics regarding pool history, delegation history, current delegators, created blocks. Now you can search through this and you can organize it however you like, but this essentially just gives you a list of the different epochs and the metrics involved with that. So we can see the number of blocks that were minted, the current stake, the number of delegators, and the rewards distributed, as well as the rewards received from the stake pool. So lots of cool things to look at. I did want to show you a pro tip with this website. So now Cardano is intended to be one of the most, if not the most decentralized blockchain network. So with that, it's always good to be able to check to see who is delegating to a specific stake pool. You know, the stake pool might have several hundred million ADA that's delegated, that's all well and good, but if those ADA are concentrated to a select few group of people, that is not going to be the best in terms of decentralization, and it might also affect your rewards over time as you delegate to that stake pool. So one thing I like to look at with this website is going to be where it says here, current delegators you can see who is actually delegating to the stake pool. So now this is all just to show you here, uh, in order to respect the privacy of everybody who is delegating to Kaizen stake pool, I'm just gonna quickly scroll through this list. I'm not gonna provide any information here in this video, but really it's nice to see a good mix of ADA holders who are delegating to the stake pool. We can see that there's lots of people with various amounts of stake 
who are contributing to this stake pool, as opposed to something like a big stake pool that has only a few addresses that are delegating mass amounts of ADA, this is really encouraging to see, especially when we have decentralization in mind. So just a pro tip, just thought I'd share that with you all. And then the next website that I wanted to show you is gonna be pooltool.io. This is gonna be an invaluable resource, especially if you are interested in starting your own stake pool. This website updates in real time and we can see lots of information that's relevant, including the number of blocks that your stake pool is gonna be minting per epoch. You can also see the current block height. This is updated in real time and it actually syncs with your stake pool. So now what we can see here, again, we're looking at Kaizen just for the sake of this video. We can see all the different metrics that we're looking at here. Some things are very similar to all of the other websites, but there are a couple differences that I wanted to point out here. This actually shows you the block height of the stake pool in real time. So this website is actually connected with the stake pool and it actually is able to update in real time to show you the current block height. And then one thing I really like as well is gonna be this chart. I think this is a great visual representation of the performance of the stake pool over time. So as we can see here, this is a bar and line chart that shows us the trend for the return on stake as well as the amount of stake that's delegated. So pretty cool. I recommend you guys play around with this. There's lots of invaluable information. If we scroll down, it shows you very similar to the other websites we were looking at the metrics for the previous epochs of this particular stake pool. So lots of cool things here. I recommend that you guys use these websites together. Don't use just one and rely solely on that information. It's always good to have multiple ways to verify the information you're looking at. And then the last thing I wanted to leave you all with here today is going to be the Shelly calculator. So now this is currently for the incentivized testnet. This will be updating as we see Shelly move over to the mainnet, but this is just to show you, I wanna have some fun. A lot of people are asking, how much ADA do I need in order to generate a passive income? Well, anybody can earn passive income with holding ADA. Even if you have one ADA, you can delegate to a stake pool. So now with this, I just wanted to go ahead and play around with some numbers and really just have some fun. Let's say, for instance, if you're invested in a Cardano right now, current price is just over eight cents. Let's say if you can pick up a bag of 100,000 ADA, which is a lot of money for many people. So that would put you at around about 28 ADA per day. And after one year of delegating to a stake pool, you're anticipated to earn upwards of 10,000 ADA. So I just wanted to point out a couple things. I'm not intended to be financial advice. I'm not telling you guys what to do with your money, but I wanted to put some thoughts into perspective here. As we can see, the amount of ADA that you would earn per day is a fair amount. It's not massive. It's not enough to replace your uh, income, so to speak. But rather, if you were to look at this from a long-term perspective, if you go over to the yearly time frame, over a course of one year, if you were to delegate 100,000 ADA, you can earn 10,000 ADA in passive income. Now on the incentivized test net, that's gonna to equate to around about 10%. This could vary when we go over to the main net, but it's something to consider, especially if you're looking at where you can park your money. I know many bank accounts are not offering anywhere even close to that, as well as other passive income investments such as real estate, et cetera. Um, having Cardano right now on the ground floor it's gonna be incredible to see what happens with the technology as well as the price. If we consider also the anticipated Shelly release, we've got a potential Coinbase listing down the road as well as smart contracts very soon after that. So lots of developments happening with the Cardano project. Very exciting to be involved within this space. If you guys are excited about Cardano and if you did enjoy this video here today, be sure to drop a like for me on your way out. If you guys haven't already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.